Hey there, this is Jexy with the Systems Alliance. In this video, we're gonna go over the news that was just announced that MoviePass will be spun off of its parent company, Helios and Matheson. So as many of you know, MoviePass has had a pretty rough go as late. Its parent company, Helios and Matheson, has lost pretty much all its value, and Helios and Matheson is even in danger of being delisted on the exchange because they just aren't even worth anything anymore. They're a penny stock. They've only been worth pennies. So this whole experiment with offering movies at such a low rate just hasn't worked out for MoviePass, and they've been trying to recover ever since then. And earlier this year, before they revamped everything, MoviePass was actually losing $100 million per quarter. And just to put that in perspective, losing $100 million in just a quarter for MoviePass, that's losing over $1.1 million a day and over $46,000 an hour. That's how fast MoviePass was burning through cash. So the new entity, MoviePass Entertainment Holdings, will take over full ownership of MoviePass and its entire subscription service. It's also taking over any other film-related services that Helios and Matheson did have that may not have been paired with MoviePass. So it's taking over all of that, and it's also gonna be publicly traded. So the current CEO of Helios and Matheson, Ted Farnsworth, said in a statement that it might benefit the two separating because since they acquired MoviePass back in December of 2017, the stock ticker of Helios and Matheson has been pretty much synonymous with MoviePass. I mean, even in my past video, when I talk about MoviePass, I talk about Helios and Matheson. But Helios and Matheson, they do other things other than MoviePass. And they actually used to turn a profit. But since acquiring MoviePass and doing that whole plan, they've only lost money and lost so much money. It didn't matter how much money that Helios and Matheson made because MoviePass was burning right through it. So they're saying that their shareholders, as well as the market perception, everything will benefit once they separate the two. Now they also say they are planning to distribute MoviePass Entertainment common stock shares as a dividend to current Helios and Matheson shareholders. The Helios and Matheson stock shot up 80% as soon as they announced this. So I mean, this is huge for them. Of course, like I said, they're only worth pennies. So what's 80% of hardly nothing? Still hardly nothing. So they still have a long way to go, but at least they're heading in the right direction by spinning them off. Of course, in recent months, as you know, whether you're watching this channel or watching the news or whatever it is, you know that Helios and Matheson has taken out some pretty sizable loans with some pretty high interest rates in order to cover those massive losses of, what did I say, $46,000 per hour that MoviePass was losing. So even though they've revamped their subscription service considerably, it still makes me wonder, one, are they still profitable? profitable. And two, even if they split them off, is that movie pass stock really worth anything? You know, are people going to invest in it? Now I canceled my movie pass subscription. And the main reason was because once they limited it to three movies a month and you can't get IMAX or 3D or anything like that, it definitely didn't look as attractive, but it was still a possibility. But then when they limited the movies that you could actually see, even among those just three a month, at that point, Cinemia has a better plan, AMC has a better plan. It's just not viable anymore. So I canceled it. And as many people thought when they canceled, oh, well, you couldn't come back. They were trying to punish you like, well, are you, gonna, are you sure you wanna cancel? Because if you do cancel, you can't come back for a year or however many months. But now, since they changed their model, they've shed so many subscribers, mostly because AMC MoviePass and Cinemia and others are now viable plans, that now MoviePass is almost getting desperate to get you back. So forget that, oh, you can't sign up for another year thing. They want you right now. Just looking at my email, they're partnering with other companies saying, hey, if you switch to T-Mobile, you get two months free of MoviePass. Now, if MoviePass was 10 bucks, that's $20. So not much for a switch to a new carrier, but they're obviously trying new things. In addition to that, I'm also getting emails saying there's a sale right now. So Cinemia puts on a sale, MoviePass puts on a sale over their own prices saying, hey, if you join right now, if you come back right now, we'll give you 30% off. So 30% off, that's pretty good. For how long is it worth it? When are they gonna reverse that just like they did before? What's the point of offering a deal just like they did before just to backpedal? The deal I signed up for was for a year and it was unlimited movies, but then they canceled that. Obviously they were going out of business, because that's too much for that little. But the point is, I can't trust them anymore and neither can hardly anyone else. So let me know your thoughts on this. Would you buy MoviePass stock? Is that something you'd be up for? I mean, it's probably only gonna cost a few pennies, but hey, 
Who knows? Does a 30% off sale entice you to go back to MoviePass or are you sticking with what you got? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, share, hit me up on social media, and we'll catch you later.